Felicity, can you just explain to me where we are? We're at Whitegate or at Grunge. Um, it's um, um, a little bit east of Alice Springs and just about five minutes drive from the town. And and the the building we're in now, this is this is your niece's your niece's house. Yes. How would you describe these conditions, Felicity, that your that your niece lives in? It's terrible. Terrible. It's really hot in the summer and in the winter it's really cold. Yeah. And people used to go out and get firewood to come and make fire early hours of the morning. Yeah. Just to make hot water for the kids to make have breakfast and to yeah. have a shower. It was yeah. really hard to get the kids up too, you know? Yes. Because it'd be really cold, you know, you can't get up in the cold. Yeah. When there's frost on the on the ground and the water's all um you know that the the, tap, the water that used to come in to these taps. Yeah. Got these old taps used to come up over from the other town camp there, a little bit, bit. Yeah. And there's a lot of problems with the hose too, you know, like there was Is it, are there showers here? Just the shower block just here. The shower block, but none in the houses. No running no, no. no running water in any of the houses. No, no. It's been like this for ever. Because Felicity was saying before, Rachel, that your dad used to come out here, Charlie used to come out here and, yeah. and bring blankets. Blankets, so and coats, and jumpers. Because it must be just... It was really, really cold. You know, when you look outside there, there used to be frost on the grass. Mm -hmm. And like little kids to walk around like barefoot, it's really, it hurts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what about, in, what about in summer? In summer it's really hot too, so people just go into town, like early hours of the morning, you know? And right. hang around in the supermarket where there's air conditioning, yeah. Yeah. and then come back in yeah. the afternoon. Cause yeah. Come back late in the afternoon, it cools down a bit. Because it's like a tin shed, it's like yeah, an so, oven. Yeah, yeah and with no insulation. And what are the health conditions like of the kids and your niece when kind of living in this sort of condition with no running water in here? Like di diabetes, mm -hmm. renal, heart problems. Because they've got no fridge, so they can't store they food. Can't yeah. So the only food they eat is kind of takeaway food. Is yes. That, yes. That, that's all they eat because that's. Because you can't have anything because we haven't got any power for fridges, mm -hmm. freezers, because everything just goes bad. You know, like perishables, they all go bad. Yeah. Yeah. So people just live on ten, ten meat. You know. How you think the voice could change this? If the, if the voice could change it, I wish like you know the. People that sit in the offices, you know, that the parliament, I think they need to come and see, you know, how we live, you know, and I, with the voice, you know, hope everything change, you know, like for our education system, for the justice system and for um, all First Nations people, you know. How does your niece cope with this? Well, she don't complain. She never tells me, like, you know, nobody complains about it, just, you know. It's just life, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's just life. 